introduction to sci-fi, the map of the world of space travel. Danger, Will Robinson, and these guys, the high-flying space-age family, the Jetsons. Well, in 2013, this is how kids learn about space. Who needs George Jetson or his boy Elroy when you can talk in real time to a real-life astronaut? CTV's Naomi Parnas has more. For students at this Milton school, it was clear from the beginning this day was no ordinary day. He goes on an eight-minute rocket ride all the way to outer space, 28,000 kilometers an hour. It started with a mini lesson from Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen, but turned into a lesson that was truly out of this world. Chris Hatfield Public School, hello, I read you loud and clear. Students had the amazing privilege to speak live with the astronaut their school is named after, right from the International Space Station. I can go any way I like, and it all feels like I might sign up. It doesn't matter. So it's really confusing at first to have no up or down. Hatfield is the first Canadian to command a space station. He shows students his view of what he says is the beautiful big blue curve called Earth. Students had all sorts of questions for him. When you get close to a star, what does it really look like? I like to know so I can draw them better. Hatfield answered them all and even showed off all his tricks for those watching in awe, including his proud parents. This is just my wristwatch. It's just pretty cool living in weightlessness. It's like, it's like magic. It's like you have a superpower where you can just fly. Hatfield was nine years old when he first dreamed of going into space, the same age as some of the students here today, a true lesson that your dreams really can come true. You have to turn yourself into who you want to be. And so what I recommend is just start thinking about it and then realize that the decisions you make every day turn you into who you're going to be tomorrow. Students were truly over the moon and clearly inspired. It was awesome. And it was an amazing feeling because Lewis was like, he's like so far up and then I'm like all the way down here on the ground. You just have to follow your dreams. It seems for Hatfield. Bye, everybody. This was one other mission accomplished. Naomi Parnas, CTV News. Love the, uh, the kids' helmets there, huh? Fantastic space suits. I would save those for Halloween. Um, by the way, we should tell the folks what one of the callers had suggested today at the news event. Wait, I'm trying to remember which one. Oh, uh, yes, tell okay. Tell them. Uh, okay.